Alright, hello everyone. This is Rich, and I am back with my part two for my DVD update for uh, June 24th, 2010. Cat. My cat's right here. Um, you want to be part of the DVD update? You want to be part? Damn you! Hello! Hello! Now I'm gay. Alright. Continue on! Damn DVD updates. I'm totally professional. Alright, let's go on. I got uh, another DVD here from my super fan, Super Colton. I believe he sent me this one. It's one of those... Actually, no, who sent me this? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Super Colton. Um, uh, this movie, Final Cut. And it's one of those weird, only released in Canada, I believe, movies. And the whole movie is essentially about a guy whose father died, so he goes and starts hitchhiking on the road to, I guess, not deal with his father problems. And he meets up with this, this really fat guy, um, and uh, they start, like, traveling to New Orleans because the guy wants to be, like, an aspiring actor, and the guy's like, oh, my New Orleans, I could hook you up. And essentially, he, he's like, I, he's like, I'm a producer for our shows and stuff, and he's... He's a producer for shows, but essentially the guy's a producer for snuff films, and um, it's okay. I mean, it looks like it was ta it was like one of those like made for TV movies, but like it really doesn't start getting good to like the last 25 minutes of this I think 70 minute movie um, that made back in 1993. So it, I mean, it's all right, but it's definitely it definitely was just worth a dollar. And the transfer is VHS quality. And uh, also, with this, the sound was terrible. I had to turn my goddamn TV up to almost 50-something, which I think the maximum is, is like 65. So I had to get it up to there to get it to even sound. So whoever did this, Hollywood DVD Classics, you suck at your fucking sound quality. Next is a movie I got for $3.00. Uh, starring Grace Jones, Chris McPeace, Dee Dee something something, and Getty Wontambi. Um, but yeah, BAP. Awesome film. This is the Anchor Bay release for it. Um, awesome. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's as good a horror, horror vampire comedy as Fright Night, but I guess if I had to pick a second, this one's pretty awesome. Um, it's the only movie that I know that kind of makes Grace Jones look kind of sexy in it, um, and I think it's just because they give her hair in the beginning, um, and it has the guy in here from, uh, what the hell is the guy's name, Robert Rustler, I believe his name is, uh, the guy from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street 2, you can kind of see him back there. He's the guy who gets uh, killed by Jesse slash Freddy in his room at the end of it with his gay love. Um, and then you have also uh, Chris Makepeace, which I really would like to see uh, seen him in more movies. Like, I mean, he was really obscure in the 80s. He was like in My Bodyguard and Meatballs and like this movie, but like I don't remember him anything else. Like, he's pretty damn obscure. And he was pretty good for what he was in the 80s. I, I would love to see him in more stuff. And then you have, um, uh, Long Duck Dong himself, um, Getty, I'm gonna say his name probably terrible, GD Getty Watanabe. Um, he was awesome in this. Very, very funny. Like, more, uh, as funny as Long Duck Dong or... In the, as in this movie. It almost seems like a stretch of his character, like if you learn English better from Sixteen Candles. Uh, next, second to last here, is One Miss Call. Now, I got this online, and it told me it was a, the double disc set for the Tokyo Shack, and you could see there's only one fucking disc in here. So that kind of pisses me off. Apparently there's supposed to be two discs, and there wasn't. As you can see, double disc edition right on the fucking bottom. 
Um, but this was pretty good. It reminded me of if you mixed, like, Final Destination with, um, this type of film. It was pretty cool. Um, it has, like, elements of One Miss Call in it, but it's, like, with different characters, as in, like, One Miss Call 2 has. But then it, like, has the original, like, Ghost Girl from <laughs> the first one, um, which is kind of confusing, because, you know, like, I think it's actually the curse of the girl ghost, and then, like, they, like, somehow that curse goes along onto the, the character who wants to get the revenge on the people. So I guess she kind of, like, helps out that person with the ghost girl. So it's kind of confusing, but, I mean, it's definitely worth the watch. If you watch the other One Miss Call, One Miss Call 2, then definitely check this out. I got this for $10. Um, but yet again, I was expecting two fucking discs. Um... But it's definitely better than the remake of One Miss Call, because One Miss Call remake can suck a bag of dicks. Because that is fucking terrible. And lastly, I might do an actual review of this itself. I'm not really entirely sold on it yet. But I probably will. And this movie was awesome. I watched it last Friday. And I, I saw it and I was like, I need to get the official DVD for this. So I got the Region 2 uh, French version. I know there's another version, but it was more expensive. I didn't want to buy it. Uh, Martyrs. It was fucking awesome. Now, the movie is essentially about, like, a girl escapes, like, being tortured, like, at 10 years old. And, uh, this Asian girl, I believe, or Korean. And, uh, the whole thing is, like, uh, the character goes through, like, this big change, and she kind of goes crazy, and that, it goes, like, she finds a friend, like, these two girls, they grew up together. And essentially, he fi she finds, like, the kidnap the guys who kidnapped the girl at the beginning. It was a uh, husband and wife. And he goes and, like, murders them and stuff. But then there's, like, a whole second part of the story where the martyrs part comes in. And you're like, seriously, this movie was going one way, and then it goes... Meh. It's definitely awesome. And, it go and I, like, I thought it was going to go in some weird hostile territory when it started going that Meh way. But it wasn't, and it actually was very, very good. If I could recommend a movie for you to watch, people, it's definitely this one. It's fucking epic. Check this movie out, Martyrs. Um, uh, I would probably get the other version because this just has the uh, English subtitles, but this one was only $6 that I could afford it for on uh, Amazon. Um, but check it out. And also, FYI, if you've seen this movie, I don't know whose character she's playing yet, but apparently it was Catherine Stewart or Christian Stewart. The, the chick who plays Belle in Twilight is going to be in this movie. She's going to play one of these two characters. I really, if you've seen this movie, I really hope she becomes this person because at the end of it, you know what happens to this person. And it's very awesome if you get to see this person go through the thing that if it Christian Stewart does. So that'd be pretty awesome. Um, anyway, totally recommend this one. Go see Martyrs. Go see it. Damn it. If I had to rate it, it'd be like a 9 out of 10 or even a 10 out of 10. Like, I recommend this as much as I recommend Norai the Curse as far as a foreign film goes. By the way, Norai the Curse is very scary. Alright, that's it for right now for my DVD updates. And I will talk to you later, YouTube. And I will be back on here pretty soon, maybe even the day that I put this up with a review for Jonah Hex. Okay? Bye.